Hey, so I'm a fussy bastard. I've got my DJI Mini 3 Pro drone here, and um, I carry it around typically in carrying case that I bought from DJI with the extra battery pack. And that's pretty good, but the solution for how to manage the remote with screen and the drone itself with two hands, you'd think it's perfect, but you know, you, you want to be wearing this somewhere so that you can fuss with this. And uh, not happy with the solutions that I've got thus far, but I'm also a photographer. So one of the things I did was take these delightful items from Peak Design. So Peak Design makes this great uh, neck strap that you can clip into your camera using, ta-da, these little uh, mini capture plastic pieces with a nice um, waxed piece of uh, nylon there, which is supposed to be able to support 90 pounds each, more than enough for what I've got here. But the kicker here is <clears throat> you can just snap the remote right in as if it were your camera. And now I've got a great shoulderable uh, remote system that's always at the ready. It's adjustable two ways because each side has these very easy slide clips to do. So that's amazing. I figured that I could upgrade my carrying case so that I could carry some camera gear and my drone at the same time. So I've got the Peak Design 10 liter uh, satchel with a capture clip on it. And surprise, say I'm wearing this unit here and we're flying our drone and I decide I'm going to take some pictures with my camera for a while and I want to use my 70 or 80 dollar strap for that. So I'm going to give this unit up, but on the back I've installed the capture clip. So I'm going to just slip it right on here and it locks in securely safe uh, behind this button press, which is the only thing that'll unlock it from coming off of here. So that's all, that's at the ready. I can now throw my camera on here and go. And then <clears throat> I was thinking things to do with the drone itself, because sometimes you land it on your hand and then you need to change a lens or you need to fuss with something and it'd be nice to have two hands. I don't want to set it down, say it's muddy or tall grass or any other number of things or balanced on rocks in the river never happens or in my canoe it does happen so i've installed one of these peak design doodads and it goes through these two holes in the bottom which you would normally see the battery slide into and click into place um there's just room in there for for this little bad boy it weighs like i don't know an eighth of an ounce or something so it's not going to add to your to your drone weight. And then I've got the capture wristband here. You just click that in and suddenly uh, I don't need to do anything. I can be messing with my stuff, my drone's at the ready. If I'm gonna be doing something for a long time, fold your drone up and you know, just throw an elastic band on to keep the uh, prop safe. Easy peasy. And uh, comes off just like that. All right, so you don't wanna invest 30 or $40 in this guy because you're not a photographer and you don't already have it. Well, they sell these separately in two packs as well. And it's an interface for the same clips we've been talking about. I took one and I added shape lock uh, to it, smoothed it out. So now I can clip it to any part of my body or to another existing strap, I suppose. Just put it on there. And then I've got this uh, 
capture system there. Just imagine it's on my waist, but you know, I don't have the video room. So, so there you have it. Uh, again, comes off just as easy as, as that. Clip can be put on your belt, on your waistband, in a pocket, uh, on a backpack. What do you think?